What is up guys, I'm Julius and today I'll be teaching you how to create this super cool effect using the Sabre plugin from Video Copilot, all done in Adobe After Effects 2022. So as I mentioned, this tutorial will use the plugin Sabre by Video Copilot. So if you want to follow along, go ahead and download it, link in the description. But anyways, I prepared a clip of a Nissan GTR here. And I thought it would be cool to maybe make some Saber animations to the tail lights. So the first thing I'm going to do to get this animation started is duplicate this clip like so. And then I'm going to zoom into the tail lights. And I'm going to select my ellipse tool by pressing Q. And then I'm going to draw a mask and of covering the tail light. And the better you can make it fit here to the whatever object you want to do this effect to, the cooler and better it will look in the end. So just take your time here. So I think something like this is nice. But the problem is our clip is moving so the mask won't stick to the tail light. But we can fix this. You want to go into mask and mask path. Next up, you want to go into Tracker over here. And if Tracker is not visible, just go to Window and enable it here. But anyways, you want to change the method to Position, Scale, Rotation and Skew if it's not already on it. And then you want to click this Track Selected Mask Forward. And this will basically just make sure that your mask follows whatever object it is surrounding. In my case, the tail light. Okay, we are done. Our mask follows the tail line. Next up, you want to go into Effects and Presets and scroll down to Video Copilot. Here the plugin should be. And you want to take this Saber effect and apply it to your topmost clip with the mask. And what you will see is this will just create a Saber on a black background. And Video Copilot has a very in-depth tutorial on how this effect works. So I won't go very much in-depth into how this effect works and I will only cover what we need. So the first thing is you want to go over to effects panel here and click customize core and you want to change the core type from saber to layer mask. And this will basically just make our saber follow the layer mask. Next up, we are going to change the blending mode from normal to screen and this will remove all the black. So now we have this cool saber on our tail light. Next up, I'm going to change the color to something more reddish, so it kind of matches the tail lights. And lastly, I'm going to change the start offset to 100. Then I'm going to enable keyframes and I'm going to go one second forward in my composition, like so. And I'm going to turn the offset down to zero. This will give us this animation, as you can see. And then I am going to select both of my keyframes and I'm going to press F9 to easy ease them. Take a look at the effect. Okay, so what I want to do now is just duplicate this effect for all the other three tail lights. So give me a second and I will speed this up and do it really quickly. And we are all done. Take a look. I think it is so awesome. It can give your videos this futuristic synth wave type look, even though it's an old car, it makes it look so futuristic with these almost neon like tail lights. And I mean, I just gave a quick example here, but there is a lot of use cases for this, especially like on cars, maybe you can highlight the entire chassis or you can highlight the wheels when they go around, maybe the exhaust pipe or whatever, or you could even maybe create a lightsaber fight because that is what the plugin is made for. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe and take care guys.